What's going on you guys? Back to you again with another movie review and this time I'm reviewing a classic animated film by DreamWorks Pictures and that is The Road to El Dorado uh, released in 2000 and uh, is directed by Eric uh, Bebo like Bergeron I think, that's how you I, think so I think that's how you pronounce his name I'm sorry if I butchered the name and uh, Don Paul and uh, so what the movie is basically about is these two con artist guys uh, basically find this map to this uh, city of gold which is El Dorado and they basically go on a venture to the city of gold to get you know the gold and stuff like that and that's basically the uh, premise of the movie and this is put out by DreamWorks and uh, it's a really good movie uh, I've seen this uh, quite a few times um, recently picked this up uh, not too long ago found it for pretty cheap um, the the case is a little beat up you know uh, here's the front uh, here's the side and the back um, you know the case is kinda beat up a little bit because as you can see I don't know if you guys can see that or not but you know it's a little you know, jacked up there, but like the disc is, is is okay. It's in good it's it's in good condition. It's not you know scratched up or anything like that. It's just the case. It's all messed up, but you know. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's gonna be okay though for the case because uh, I like these like white cases for the DreamWorks movies. You know, I just like that. Um, but yeah, um, this has great music. Um, Hans Zimmer, who does great music, uh, does some music in this, and has uh, music, uh, there's one song by Sir Elton John, um, and uh, also uh, Tim Rice also uh, has a song in there, and uh, yeah, it's just a great movie from start to finish, a great family-friendly uh, movie. Um, it still holds up today for 2021, uh, it's amazing that this movie's 21 years old now, uh, it's, uh, crazy, but, you know, it's, uh, it's very good, uh, I'll have to rewatch this, because I haven't seen this for, like, years, like, the last time I watched this was, I think, was, like, in high school, and that was a long time ago, so, uh, um, I'll have to definitely give this a rewatch again, it says on the front from Neil Rosen from, uh, I think it's uh, NYI. I'm not sure what that stands for, but if you guys know, let me know. He says it's a, an instant classic, and yes, that is true. This one's uh, up there with like The Prince of Egypt and Ants, you know, and all those classic uh, DreamWorks movies. Shrek also is another good one, of course. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it says that the music's by Elton John and lyrics are by Tim Rice, okay. And then the composer is uh, uh, Hans Zimmer and John Powell. And, uh, yeah, and great voice acting. The animation is absolutely great. And, um, yeah, great music, especially, like, the opening song. I think the song is called uh, El Dorado, I think. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, so, like, I, I apologize if I get the song name wrong, but, uh, comment below if, if that's the right name for the song, El Dorado, like, in the beginning, like, as the movie begins, um, but yeah, and on the back it says, by Joel Siegel from Good Morning America, Solid Gold, and that is true, and, um, yeah, so, like, on this DVD you have some special features, read-along adventures, uh, trailers, amazing behind-the-scenes, featurette, uh, special Elton John music video, production notes, cast and crew bio, so you can find out information about the cast and crew, and um, interactive uh, PC game demo, exclusive filmmakers commentary, um, a hidden treasure of interactive fun, brain teasers, mazes, coloring pages, um, Aztec arts and crafts and more, so, um, yeah, so it has a, it has a good lot of special features, uh, this, this one might be on Blu-ray, not 100% sure, but it might be, um, but, uh, if it is or if it's not, you can feel free to, to let me know, um, and, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I think this movie, you know, is, uh, uh, very underrated. It's not really talked about that much anymore, which is a shame because I think it needs more attention. If if your kids haven't seen this, um, you know I recommend watching it with the kids because it is a really a lot of fun to watch and 
it, it's really good to watch, especially for, you know, family and kids and stuff like that. Like, I'd say, like, that's probably, like, the best part of this movie is watching it with family and kids and maybe even friends. But, yeah, definitely check it out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.